Well, as promised, I was going to finish up the cooling system on the Monte Carlo. Have got it done. Took it for a road test and everything. She's working fine, running around 180 degrees. Thermostats open up. So now I'm going to get ready to take the two front rims off because I need to go replace the tires on those. And uh, Camaro, oh, she's always what she's doing. So there's so no need to uh, do anything to her. She just needs to drive. Got my old advertising car out there for my maid service. But, uh, hey, it's Friday. I'm going to get out here and cut my yard and get that on done while well, I still got time because if I don't do it now, tomorrow I won't be able to get it done. So I'm going to do that now. Like I said, uh, it's rather hot out here, but uh, I got to get this stuff here done before I can finish everything else up. Probably ride my bike a little bit. Need to take it and get it inspected. I'll let, and I'll probably do all that. But uh, as always, you guys have a great day. Another short but to the point video from Big Pets Under the Hood. Remember, like, share, subscribe. Tell somebody else about the channel. Try to get the channel up and going. And give me comments. Let me get two or 3,000 comments on just what I have been posting on my thing. Uh, got something coming up with a LS in a little bit. Got the uh, 4L60 transmission that I got the other day from my brother. I have that transmission here and I also have a 700 R4 and underneath that cover is another 454 uh, big block. I think I'm going to try my hand at a 4L60 uh, uh, and a uh, probably a 6 or a 62 and uh going to buy a 60 8 to a 72 Chevelle or Malibu and install that in there and get on with some of the information I've got from guys like uh, LS Guru from California, great guy, John Doc and his racing team and uh, several other guys that's, uh, and, and girls that's been doing the LS. So just try to get all my information together before I did it. Didn't want to do it to the Monte Carlo because I didn't want to make it a, a resto mod. That wasn't the build intended for it. So I'm going to try a 68 to a 72 G body and uh, do that as a re resto mod with all the things that I've uh, watched and encountered and uh, the information I've uh, gathered from the channels that uh, I uh, subscribe to. And like I say always, hey, it's nothing too hard for you because you can go on YouTube and learn anything you need to learn before you even do the build. You can bench, you can bench build it just from YouTube because there's enough, it's enough information out there and documentation and everybody gives you accurate information there on what they've done, they're trying everything like that. So if it's a build that you're gonna do, whether it's a nostalgic build like I did with my car, which appeared correct and everything, or you're gonna do a, a resto mod, which would be a older model car with the drivetrain of a newer car, something preferably uh, 2000 uh, and up. If you're gonna do that, just go on YouTube because you can get anything you wanna get. Subscribe to a lot of these guys. It doesn't take but to subscribe and hit like. And a, a lot of these guys, they take time out of their day just to give you know those minute informations like I do about something that probably would help somebody else out. So if you're thinking about something like that, this is a great platform in order to uh, subscribe to different channels and look at it and get you an idea of what you're going to do before you even start. Have a great day. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Big Pats Under the Hood, out.